Well, as far as driving, it's already been a good time uh, going through the ruts and, and working your way around and shoveling and following the plows. That's been fun. But now, of course, uh, the potholes are a big part of everyone's drive this morning. And what a good time that's been. And if you've hit one, you know they can pack a powerful punch. Our Monday morning mechanic, David Rogers, is showing us the damage these potholes are causing and what you as a driver should do. Hi, David. Well, hi, Vita. Hey, Tom. How are you? Good. Hey, I'll tell you, the potholes are terrible. As we have these temperatures where everything freezes and then thaws and the hole fills with water, it's just like an ice tray in your freezer. Um, the, the, the water freezes and, it's, and it swells that hole and it cracks. And we end up tearing up some really expensive stuff here. You know, here I have a, one of these expensive little custom rims you can see by the low profile tire. Um, if you see here, we have a rim shot here on the curb or a curb shot and it's torn the tread on the tire. And in addition to that, they've bent this rim. This rim's no good. You can't fix that. So a uh, four or five hundred buck mistake just from hitting a pothole. Um, in addition to that, you know, the, the car's alignment, the wheel alignment's going to be out, so they're going to have to realign the wheels and take a look at the suspension components. Over here, I have a truck tire, and you can see even the big four-wheel drives are not immune. Um, right here, I have a little hole. I can actually get my finger up in there. It's a curb shot again, and it just split it right along the sidewall. Again, that's not repairable. And due to ABS systems today, when you damage a tire, unless they're just brand spanking new, you're probably looking at buying another set of tires because you really need to have the tread depth all be about the same. You know, another thing that we're seeing a lot of are shocks and suspension components and this thing remember is designed to keep the vehicle from bouncing and it's so shot I can do it with my hands and as strong as I am that shouldn't be possible <laughs> <laughs> these are uh, sway bar links here and basically a sway bar goes all the way across under the hood of the car and it keeps the car from swaying when you turn corners and what happens um, when you hit a, a, a pothole or something hard like that, if something's a little worn, it can break. And as you can see, the little ball joint here has completely come separated. Not too expensive of a repair if you catch it early. So the, the moral of the story is if you hit a pothole, be sure and go in and have that thing looked at real quickly, the vehicle, and, and carefully. Because if you fix this when this happens, maybe a couple hundred bucks, if you wait, then the sway bar itself may need to be replaced, and at that point, you're going to add another three, four hundred dollars on top of this repair. Hey, David. Yes, sir. Uh, I haven't had time. I've been so busy lately, so I've not been able to pimp my ride. But uh, the uh, the low profile tires, I imagine, are far more susceptible to rim damage and wheel damage in, in pothole situations. Oh boy, are you right? You know, not only do, do these vehicles that use these have more rim damage and tire damage, but they're so much lower to the ground, the whole car, because the profile's low, you have no clearance. So you see those big snow bones down the middle of the streets right. and stuff. Man, people need to avoid that. Cars that utilize things like this should probably still be in the garage. All right, I'll, I'll just put it off pimping my ride till, till <laughs> May. You know, those would look pretty good on your Maverick, Tom. Yeah. I don't know. We could shine this baby up. I mean, well, you don't really care if the tires have air in them. I can just get the nice paint job, do the flame thing. <laughs> David, thanks as always for more information from the Monday Morning Mechanic. With us every Monday, you can go to the website CW2.com. You can still get those fuzzy dice, too. Got those. Oh, the flames? <laughs> I got those.